you kind of don't know when one song ends and another one starts. Where the fuck is my water? <laughs> do you, do you see what? I almost, I'm like, should I just give you mine so we I, can? I just don't <laughs> fucking understand it. Welcome to Every Album Ever with Mike and Alex. My name is Michael Mansour, and I'm joined as always in the flesh with my lovely, wonderful co-host, Alexander Volt. Say hello. Hello. It's been too long. Our viewers won't notice, yeah. but it's, it's been too long. It's been a minute. <laughs> We've, man, we always do this where we have like a short, short episode, a short discography, and then we take like four weeks to do it. Dude, Re- Resident Evil and throwing yourself back in the dating game. Dude. The combination of those two is, and, what, is what I blame. And pathetically, I'm the Resident Evil. He's the dating. But I highly recommend Resident Evil 8, everybody. By the way, this is every album. Remember the podcast where we listen to every single album in the world, one artist at a time. And it's an entire discography per episode. And today, we'll be discussing every single album by... Noy. Noice. Dude, I don't know this band, but I know of this band. I know of a lot of bands like this band. But I never heard this band. I I've got a story about the first time I've heard of this band, and it scarred me. Uh, the band or the story? The the band. Ooh, it, ooh. Well, like why? How should I? This having tell? Heard, having heard all yeah, go for oh, it. Yeah, having yeah. heard all these albums, I have no idea how it could have scarred you. So the f- the first and only time I did mushrooms, I probably did too. Never mind. <laughs> I probably did too much. All right. And my friend thought it'd be a cool idea to throw on Noi, and it shut the fuck. Sorry, uh, it beat me down. I dealt with the worst time distortion on that uh-huh. tr- on that shrooms trip, uh-huh. and a Noi song when you're on shrooms, yeah, it feels like this anxiety shit dude you got the the most opposite response to what i was expecting yeah yeah yeah. it's it's uh if if you if your attention span is shot and uh you are are having a a bad high this but um i have so many good things to say about this band and weed oh my god oh so many so many of those two things but but quick uh uh well if you want to what is it? Playlist on on You'll find a link in the description of wherever you're listening or watching. Playlist associated with every single episode. If you want to check them out, everyalbumever.com. Yeah, and then uh, only plug for now. Uh, Patreon, patreoncom ever If you want to suggest an artist, you can do so uh, by emailing us everyalbumever at gmail.com. But patron members, patronizers, as we call them, they get first dibs. We have one more coming in a few weeks that I I refuse to acknowledge even exists because I'm 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 not excited to do it. But guess what? We fucking do it anyway. God damn it. I God keep, damn it. I keep forget. I'm not- <laughs> Yeah, I keep forgetting it's coming up. I fucking yeah, it's coming up. But uh, yeah, you can do that. And also, you know, don't subscribe, don't like us. All right, don't don't tell your friends either. We don't care. Uh, what, what, what are we talking about? I do care. Okay. I I I wanted to screenshot when we hit four hundred four twenty followers on YouTube on YouTube, yeah. and I checked. I missed it. Four twenty one flew by. Flew we by. flew right by to four twenty one. Four twenty one, dude. We're shooting. Can't, hey, can't contain us. Can't dude, contain us, dude. It's uh, yeah. I saw that. We're like, uh, we're like, we're more on Spotify than YouTube. But like, I remember that seeing that on Spotify like some time ago. I was uh, like, nice. Yes, <laughs> I did. I did catch the the Sam Hain six 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 views. Though, yeah. So I was oh, proud of that episode. Something. It was around Halloween. I don't remember when some the sort of Halloween episode. That episode gets a lot of hate. It's so funny. <laughs> it's like I, I, I remember seeing a because uh, I, I stopped reading YouTube comments because it's bad for mental health. And I remember seeing some comment uh, a while ago. Yeah, I was like, you didn't show enough respect. Thumbs down. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. I've, and then I talked about it. Like, I don't know. Sometimes things just sound good in my brain, but apparently I pronounce them wrong. Like, yeah. Uh, Dan, Dan Zig's name. What? What? There's a song. There was a song called the wh- "How How Alex Pronounces Danzig." Fans, fans will know what the hell we're talking about. And, it's- and I'm just an idiot. <laughs> and like in my head, I'm like, yeah, like it's. I don't know what's wrong with me, but um, yeah, yeah. I I love people who get angry about that, and yeah. uh, I'm I'm sorry for pronouncing things weird sometimes. Yeah, uh, you said sorry. All right, you're sure. a sort of bastard. Uh, almost Canadian. Almost. Uh, so no, I, yeah, you had a, you had, so you had a bad trip. What, what did you, how did you come back to them and, uh, why were you not scared off? Um, well, one, I wasn't blitzed out of my fucking mind. Helps, helps, helps. Yes. Um, 
And yeah, I don't, I think they have great songs and okay albums. Really? Because I, after hearing all these albums, I can't even imagine them as, as a, not an album band. Like they're all so f- jammy yeah. and flowy together and you kind of don't know when one song ends and another one starts. Where the fuck is my water? <laughs> do, you, do you see what? I almost, I'm like, should I just give you mine so we I, can. I just don't <laughs> fucking understand it. <laughs> it was here like two seconds ago. Five seconds ago. Is it like a, a water bottle? It's a, it's a hydro flask. You know what? Let's just move on. Let's, Let's just move, move on. on. I'll, be, I'll be thirsty now, I guess. Um. Well, if if you get too thirsty. All right. All right. Leave it boom. Yeah, in case um, I, yeah. If you get die. parched. Um, yeah. They're, and we talked about them a little bit on the Kraftwerk episode because these two gentlemen, um, Klaus Dinger. And Michael Rother mm-hmm. were were in crowd like the the early days of Kraftwerk. Yeah, and so this is this band Noi is kind of like an an offshoot. And there are definite moments where I'm like, oh, early Kraftwerk, early Kraftwerk. Yeah. Holy shit, this is ex- yeah, that's like, yeah, it's almost yeah. indistinguishable. Like Rud, was it Rud Zucker? That uh, Z- Rud Zucker, Zed Rucker. It's like a Fud Rucker situation. I don't, I don't know exactly. Uh, yeah, how. that's yeah. It. that's a good. It's not streaming, but you can find that song. That's a fucking rad. Yeah, fuck yeah, Fud Ruckers. But <laughs> uh, so yeah, really like. I, uh, it wasn't until hearing this band that I kind of like it clicked in my head what Krautrock really was because I've been mm-hmm. a fan for, of Can for years. Obviously, Kraftwerk for a long time, uh, but I never really listened to anything besides that and then hearing just just the style of it's like oh yeah it is distinct as shit like yeah. you know a crowd rock band a, a mile away yeah and then uh you know they're known for what the fuck is it called the motoric 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 beat where it's just that driving oh, t- four t- four t- four t- it's very simple t- yeah you do some flourishes and some fills here and there yeah. but it's 80 percent yeah i remember four four beat I remember seeing a, a crowd rock documentary years ago and I don't have no idea what it's like. It's almost, it's so long ago. It feels like I, it's a blur and I made the whole thing up in my head. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just high, but it was the drummer fucking RIP from Ken who's like, you know, he's an amazing drummer. He was a jazz drummer. Mm-hmm. And then his revelation or something was like, I think someone told him, why don't you just try playing the same thing over and over again? He's like, yeah. <gasps> Huh? Like, is this, like, <laughs> wait, what? And that's what created like that sound. It was like, a lot of those driving beats that never changed, but mm-hmm. uh, somehow just kind of I don't know. It, I don't know. We'll, we'll get into it more specifically, obviously, with, with the records. But uh, Noi history. Who uh, are they? Uh, uh, let me just say abysmal Wikipedia page. Uh, really? There, were, there was a two-hour interview. I was this, maybe I'll watch it. Maybe I won't. I uh-huh. did not. Um, but yeah, they this they formed in ninety seven. They like I said, part of Kraftwerk. Yeah, they were like, we're gonna do our our own thing because obviously, wait, you see ninety seven or or seven seventy seven like, seventy one seventy one. Okay, bad. um, so yeah, obviously, I think that was right because they're not as heavy on the electronics, right? More more like band driven, kind of like Can. Yeah, yeah, very, very much a band. Um, of course, that's going to be the only crowd rock comparison I ever give because that's the only thing I've heard. Sorry, Amandul. Or is it Amandul? No, that's a, that's a fucking doom metal band, right? That, I've never even heard of that band. Is it? Is it Amandul? Hold on. There's because if I just pulled that out from like my the recesses of my subconscious, I feel, I'm a fucking genius. Because to me, there's like um, crowd rock. There's the big three. So we've done. Kraftwerk, Noi, and then we'll do Can eventually. Um, I think you you usually bring up Telex. I don't know if they're Krautrock. Wait, uh, Telex? No, no, Telex is just electronic. Okay, Amadou is a Krautrock band. Holy uh, shit! There you go. Mike just dropping weird random no- bands. Weird knowledge that I didn't even know I had. I don't know what they sound like or who they are. I probably I, you know what probably heard about them in the documentary that I watched. Maybe. But yeah, uh, I'm on dual D U D U U L, and it usually has like a a two behind it. I'm dual two. Um, yeah, that was one another one of the early crowd rock bands. Yeah, formed in like sixty seven, seventy one. Sounds like a a pro wrestler, like he I'm on dual versus Abdullah the Butcher and Abdullah the Butcher and a barbed wire death match. 
Fucking goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, anyway, we're, we're, we're this free form. Yeah, now. I got fucking we're, stuck for a second. We're real <laughs> silly. But um, so, yeah, the did their own thing and uh noi is was inspired by like all the the advertising going on in germany mm-hmm. it's it this means new it's, okay yeah i figured so much and the explanation point sa- makes it seem even more advertising yes yes that's why they the album covers are very minimal oh and- yeah it's uh some would say lazy some would be me they're I'm calling them lazy there is something lazy that we'll talk about right, but right, right, uh, right. I'll, I'll give album covers a pass okay okay yeah. okay uh so i mean that's, that's about it for the back yeah jump into it? yeah, yeah. Oh, let's jump into it let's talk about our feelings these are going to be some very repetitive ass album titles this, as well this might be kind of similar to last week with alter plagues where it's like there's these 10 minutes. Oh, and how can you really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh first album, 1972's Noe. You, uh, you set me up real fucking fast. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Also, this is a little fuss. Oh, there we go. Someone like playing a fleshlight. Alex, you disgusting fuck. That is a wah pedal. Just oh, like the beginning of Voodoo okay. Child. Oh, Hendrix. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I also read that there is a, uh, a Japanese banjo on this album. So I'm not sure what that is. Japanese banjo. I don't know what it is, but I want it. I'm going to say it wrong. It's called a Tasho, Tasho Goto. Tasho Goto. That was that was good. You, I fucking really it's hope a, that was. It's a real guttural language. I believe it is. Yeah. Even the last. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. How racist was that? Scale one. Scale one to ten. Oh, I. I come. I give it a four. Yeah. yeah, go to yeah four. I, I don't feel like you were ins- going after anyone specific or doing an impression. Good, because so. I'm a Japanese man. We all, which we all know, turning Japanese is uh, you're just masturbating. I am. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, clearly we're, we're talking about fucking jerking off, and that's, okay. that's basically, I think, uh, the end of the... Yes, that, <laughs> that, goes, that goes on forever. <laughs> fucking wild. Uh, that, yeah, that's a great song. So to me... I dig it, yeah. Yeah, to me, this is... There's two good songs on here, and the, the ambient shit does not, like, work for me. What are the two songs you like? So that one, Hollow Gallo, uh-huh. and Negative Land. I think you are correct. Hold on, though. But hold on. Yes. Though. So I first listen to this. Hey, man, not for me. It's so ambient. It's so jammy. Yes. I'm fine with the, the opener, you know, uh, Hello Gallo or whatever. Uh, and I like Negative Land. I also liked the the closing track, uh, Lipo Hong, or however you pronounce it. Yes. That- uh, it, I thought it was a little disturbing. Kind of works. Yeah. Also, it's all instrumental. So I was not expecting singing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that closing track, kind of interesting that you get some singing, but eventually even that song dips it's, it's, into... I didn't mind it so much because I just, I just appreciated the the weirdness of it. Nothing on their album is that kind of, like, unsettling. But uh, I listened to this album, so I listened to it two times, and then I moved on, right? Mm-hmm. And the two times, I was like, okay, yeah, was it uh, Vicency or whatever the fuck? Yeah. Uh, I was like, okay, is ambient nothing? Like, Jesus Christ, I, I this is... That one works a little better for me. It's a little trippy. That, that's a, yeah, there's some Middle Eastern vibes to it. It's yeah. chill and relaxing, but I was like, but it's boring. It's fucking boring. And then the same thing with like, uh, where where is it? Um, where the fuck? I'm Glock. Im, no, Imgluk, Imgluk, <laughs> Alex is trash. I fucking hate that. It's ambient nothingness. It, it but like, uh, after I finished the discography, I went back to this one, and on my third listen, voice and see. I was like, yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it on oh, third all right. listen. All right. And then on third listen, I didn't like Negative Land. What? So so basically, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Y'all should stop listening to this mic right now. This is a uh, a crazy new mic we're dealing with today. Um, yeah. It's, but the thing is, like, I did like, uh, I, think, I, th- I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that on my third listen, I was from a completely different perspective. Not only had I heard the rest of the albums already, mm-hmm. but- I was also not listening for anything. I was working out and high. So therefore, I'm just letting it hit me, dude. I'm just, fucking letting it hit me. Just letting it rush over you. Letting it rush over me. So 
in that context, the, you know, uh, vicency is not that boring. It's kind of like, first, it's also like coming off of uh, the second track, uh, Sonder Orange Bot, whatever the fuck, mm-hmm. which is not even a song. No, no. <laughs> it's just nothing. Yeah. So it kind of feels like, oh, all right, well, we're back. We're gen- we're easing back into it. We're easing back into it. Yeah. Whereas if you're, if you want to hear music, this is not it. This is, <laughs> this is like, like you said, there's two songs on here. Yeah. There's, it's, it's a two course meal. Yeah. Um, I think like that opening track is like a, a nice summer, summer bike ride. Yeah. With yeah. all the good scenic stuff. And then uh negative Lang, you get a, some distortions some yeah feedback a little but, bit a little heavier but not full on a not process. a whole lot yeah just enough uh but, but yeah this was a uh, real was i was like oh, okay all right i'm not into this all right let's move on i was rough but it works when you're high i think yeah um yeah i don't i'm just like yeah those two songs are cool but like if i had to pay money for this i don't i don't think i would I don't all think right. I would. All right. I think there's a time and place, but mostly I th- if you're going for this band, I think if I, if we I have- could get an annoy like greatest hits thing that I think that's more for me. Fair enough. We got a playlist. Probably going to be something like that, but let's move on. This is, are you, wait, hold on. I'll talk slower. Dude, yeah, this you're going. Is, sorry. I'm, a, I'm a, <laughs> very sorry. <laughs> all right. All right. 1973's Noi 2. I swear this is a different song. I think you're lying to me, Alex. This is the same exact song. What the fuck? <laughs> it, d- it does feel like part two of Hollow Gala. Yeah. Video. Same exact drum line. That's the one we're talking about. Exact. Exact drum line. Same production for the most part. At least, it look, not like... Um, terms of what they do with it just mm-hmm. in terms of like those drums sound exactly the same as, it, as the first album it's uh it's interesting they they spent all their money buying new instruments um so it leads to the second half of the record being like i i find it offensive offensive what they, what they did oh boy and that back half we got a we got a hot ticket here all right let's talk now because we all know what the song sounds like oh i got hot takes so this is worst least favorite shut your mouth alex shut your mouth yeah hey, alex why it's strictly the back half of the album where they ran out of money and could not spend more time in the studio the record labels like you guys aren't even a big band we're not going to give you money so what they did is they took two songs and proceeded to play them at different speeds right 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 yeah yeah that's for sure that's what happened which is like there's some interesting things but Uh not enough to call it a fucking album oh alex is mad i was heated i so this is a this is partly because i'm fucking retarded when i first heard this i accidentally had it on shuffle so i listened to it on shuffle like two times in a row <laughs> and then realizing oh fuck <laughs> so I went back and listened to it so i ended up hearing this album a lot so all these songs kind of stuck with me the most and you're correct yeah. many of them are literally the sped up and slowed down versions of songs that are already on here yes and it literally like triples the length of the album yes but it just didn't piss me off like like the slow what's the fucking super slow down one uh super Uh, six super 16 yes which can kind of cool which can be heard in uh master of the flying guillotine and kill bill Really? It ended up on those soundtracks. Holy Watch, shit. Watch, yeah, Super 16 isn't even the original song. It's like, no. yeah. It's super. A, yeah. It's super is, is the song, <laughs> which is a good song. I think it's a great song. Yeah. Super 16, I think it sounds like sludgy. It sounds. It does. It's like, a, well, well, this is pre, like 20 years before sludge. This is fucking great. Not uh, literally 20, but you know. E- even like, um, Nush, Nushi. Yeah, Nushni. Uh, 78, 78 is sped up yeah and it sounds like a ymo track it's pretty cool yeah and it sounds like there's because it's sped up it sounds like the drummer's playing double bass it sounds like yeah, yeah. i was like oh this is rad I was like, Wait a minute, he's fucking playing this cheater this fucking, yeah this little yeah cheater. How dare he? Uh, so it's like there's cool things like that but then it's yeah. like it doesn't i feel ripped off i feel cheated uh, yeah uh 
I get it. I get it. But uh, I still didn't find it like boring at all. That's why. That's why. Like, I was still okay with it. Like, I I get that it's lazy. And it's like okay, that's kind of tacky, but. And I just it just it was okay for me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Lila Engel. Oh, uh, Lila Ang. Uh, yeah, Angel or Engel. That's some weird shit I can get behind though. It's pretty good. Pretty great. Crazy buildup. And also the vocals, really odd. Yeah, there's love some, them. There's some like a layer of unsettling. Because it's so the vocals in this band because it's mostly instrumental, like we said. But they're, they're uh. First of all, they're bad. They're not like something like singing, singing. They're just mm. sort of just throwing these weird, almost like like a the way a little girl sings in a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. Should I just like throw on like a little bit of that one? Because yeah. I really like the vocals in that one. I'm just gonna put it on and fast forward to a random part, and, yeah. and everyone gets what they get. Hey, that. Yeah, it, it all works for vibe. Like, yeah, I can imagine someone getting uh, beaten to death, but with a song in the background. <laughs> and I envision it daily, Alex. Yeah, uh, Ari Asher is going to use this in an and oh Aster. Yeah, yeah. A, oh, in yeah. a new movie. He should. Yeah. Uh, man, this this really does have skinheads beating people up uh, to death written all over it, doesn't it? Our green room. Yeah, a green room. I mean, it is German. I just that was an oh, accidental yeah. Yeah. putting together in my brain. God, that's a good song. Um, but again, I don't. I don't feel like it's an album, right? Yeah, right. so right. I mean, it is. It but. is. Yeah, I, I, I do get you. You you feel it like it's more of a slap in the face, all right? It's, it's, uh, honestly, yeah. Why not just put out an EP? But this was this before EPs were like prominent. Yeah, I yeah. Think if it were a little, little bit later, they would have just like, okay, let's just release the songs that we do have. Little stricter, yeah, rules with the label. Yeah. Um, after this, yeah. Uh, it's also interesting. I just thought of this right now. Like in situations like this, a lot of bands would just record a couple live tracks. But these, like, oh, the thing about yeah. Krautrock Rock was like the. It's not the same live. Like, well, maybe these guys were. Yeah. But like, even but a lot of Krautrock Rock bands, they use these like primitive ass electronic instruments that you couldn't replicate the sound so it's not like it's gonna i don't know maybe that i'm just thinking too much into it no because we have done like cream or crass yeah two the only similarities is they both start with c that's the, literally the yeah. only thing the only thing but they both but the scene, i'd love to watch them both fight each other like oh, steve ignorant and ginger baker oh, just box I, i'd pay to see that Fuck, yeah. if one was still alive um Wait, it's yeah, he's dead. Uh, yeah, just because dead as fuck. <laughs> Thank Christ. Um, yeah, those bands did use live tracks to to pad out otherwise yeah. short albums. Yeah. So you're you're right in thinking that. Yeah. It's just a small scene, you know, and not a lot of popularity with crowd work, I don't mm. think, very much. Uh but Alex and, is, and they were not a popular band. I yeah. you didn't even gotta tell me that. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of felt it in my bones. Yeah, if people didn't know. Now you do. Now you do. Uh, so Alex's worst and least favorite, uh, probably controversial, just because I felt like this was a decent album, just maybe a little bit on the re- cheap, re- cheap re- side, recycled yeah. side, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, but let's move on now. Third album, the aptly titled Noise 75, which came out in 1975. Should I let this one play out? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, so um Rother took some some time off. Rother's who remind me again? Is he the, I always get them fucking confused. I didn't even write He's just a guy that was he was he's he's, hanging out. He's the guy. He was their driver. Yeah, guitar, bassist, keyboards. Yeah. Dinger is the, the Dinger. Drum. That's right. Man, looking at these uh these lineups, man, like, yeah, there's no way these guys perform live that much. <laughs> there's a lot of multitasking here. Yeah. Um This song it yeah. it 
Tej what it is. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. This uh, the title like track. But oh, the, oh, the the, the, the uh, song. Yeah. I thought you were doing some weird like Mike Myers impression. No, uh, no, no. Easy, uh, uh, Ishi? The opening track, right? What? So yeah, this is like we we know what the band is. This is their sound. I do like. The addition of the piano on here. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And also very interesting. They were kind of at a crossroads with um, Rother wanting to do, you know, the more traditional ambient stuff, which is on side one. Right. But Dinger wanted to do like aggressive Uh rock and roll stuff. Uh, That explains at least one track on here. Uh, so um i don't i don't know if this is a hot take but best personal best favorite. personal favorite yeah this was this I, was easy yeah this was super easy for me there's diversity yep the more like rock and stuff works for me yep. he bought in um there's so it's double drumming which people i didn't know that yeah you'll probably only notice in headphones but i'm all for it even if they're playing the same thing yeah i just like the sound two drummers mm-hmm uh this one this one was uh very clear, clearly the best because uh one didn't feel gimmicky like the last one because there's no recycling yeah. but the thing is not even just recycling like even the the concept of let's speed this part up even if it was a different song let's just speed it up that's like a novel cute thing that you mm-hmm. can use once before you get you can't do it again yeah so this was you have a whole album full of just different songs mm-hmm. great yes and also no ambience no, no. ambience you got fucking straight clean piano all over the place really mm-hmm. nice and it's always integrated in into the you know their style uh there there's a little bit more darkness with like sealand for example a little bit darker a little bit more subtle that that to me is a way you can make like a more mellow song without being boring without being boring and the last thing is that there is full-on songs now like where whereas before the songs were the the long jammy things mm-hmm. now we have the long jammy things with s- shorter songs that are that feel more written and concise in between all of them yeah and i think it's significantly better uh i think another good example is L- lieb lieb uh yeah uh yeah lieb 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 i have no idea that has a weird apostrophe i've never seen german with apostrophes but, but go on because yeah that could have easily fell into like this an ambient noise yeah. track but there is there's some effort to make it a, a real song dude i don't know why i'm a sucker for ocean sounds oh it's, it's yeah. this weird uh the anxious man feels good either. yeah so it, there's they, they work on that song and but it's like yeah no i just i was just really appreciating the the pretty somber piano side and then i was like this is a good album yeah but once you get to Hero, aptly named, aptly named, I would say. Love it. It's upbeat. They're yep. singing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This is probably after Can. So I, I don't think he's singing real things. I think he's doing like the Can thing. Gibberish? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Damo Suzuki said uh, real words. I mean, he said gibberish too. Yeah. But like he, he's saying. T- I guess when I say like the Can thing, like he's this like putting sounds to Sound, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 That seemed like a very of this genre to do any uh thing to do anyway but that song uh fuck man dude at first when i first started i was like oh these vocals sound like darby crash that's hilarious yeah and then i listened to it again i was like this isn't darby crash this is keith morris circa black flag <laughs> because i'm a fucking nerd i know specifically he sounds exactly like keith morris on the nervous breakdown ep like yeah, exactly yeah the side side two ironically this is kind of like a my war situation um side two is like considered proto-punk it well well, I definitely get it with after eight. That's like yeah, very clearly. That yeah. sounds like the Stooges doing kraut rock. Yeah, yeah, it works. I dig it. I dig it a lot. It's uh, real good. It's basically kraut rock and roll. What is it? Yeah. yeah, or something like that. Because it it has the same style, but it has obviously it's like a rock and roll song with this really airy, floaty, cosmic production. So yeah, yeah, it's the garage rock influence and and all that shit. On By the way. Too. What movie was that in? I've I've heard that song off awfully. Or I'm sorry, after eight. Uh not a Freudian slip, I swear to God. I have no idea where I heard that song. It's gotta be in stuff. I am not sure. I, I feel like they've had other songs in movies, but I off the top of my head, I'm not familiar with After Eight. Mm, mm. Leave a comment, please. Let us know. 
yeah i think the the next album is like where they've had some of those songs in movies interesting uh but yeah this is uh overall because it's not like a it's a it's a progression it's a, de- a slight departure but it's not like a huge step it's, no yeah it's just it's just big enough where it's the noise you like and love if you like and love this band uh with some new tricks a couple of new tricks new noi new noi 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 no oh, noi uh man this band is fuck not for everyone huh this, no. <laughs> to this, I was like, man this is gonna be yeah if you're into this good on you dude oh. i like it but fuck dude this is jam me like these brrr. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we just attract weirdos. If anything, we'll just yeah. get hate. I'll get fucking hate. But <laughs> fuck, fuck, dude, fuck I, will, I, I will fuck you. I will break your heart. Try to hurt me. Uh, I don't even know what that means. But uh, I don't know if I, I wrote it on the last um, or or this one, but I got this a lot with with can with certain can songs too. Where this is just the fucking perfect stuff to to put on. And take a long drive too. Oh yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's perfect driving music. It's it's and I I mean I did I done that with Can and I'm like my younger years are I'm just like oh how am I gonna fix this situation and I'm just it's- listening to Can for like <laughs> twenty miles. <laughs> this is perfect for that. It's yeah. fucking wonderful. Yeah, we talked about that a little bit with the or probably a lot of it on mm-hmm. the Craftwork episode. You know they got the fucking Autobahn song. Yeah, and just like yeah, I don't know something about these uh kraut rock bands they love making songs that are just perfect for driving too it's wonderful i dig it man not somewhere where there's traffic that negates the purpose but like a nice yeah. open yeah exactly fuck i'm gonna do that right now God, life is hard dude huh? <laughs> life's super hard uh but now last album but this is like a Confused the fuck out of me as, as at least how this was released. Yes. So this was recorded and mixed between like 85, 86. Um, it was the first time they had been in the studio in nearly a decade. Yeah, what did they break up or something? I don't I don't know if they like ever like made it official, but yeah, they were they were fighting, they kind of abandoned it. Um and then there's not I couldn't find a source on this and I was too lazy to double check it, but some sleazy record label managed to get their hands on it Uh and released it. And Dinger Dinger said it was okay in an act of desperation, released it in 95. So the 95 version is uh, of, of, of vert. We didn't even put on check, but whatever. Um, the 95 version was not like approved by by Rother. Okay, so yeah, so it, it, it was originally released as Noi 4 in 95 and that's it also has like a completely different track listing. Now yes. on streaming you'll only fi- find the new version which is called Noi 86. That was what 2010? Yes, this is the approved uh remastered version okay streaming now yeah that's a well thankfully it's the easiest one to find too so yeah this is a noi 86 2010 also this this track dan danzing that's i can finally say it <gasps> Mother. i'm trying to fast forward or d- is the vol- oh shit that's my bad <laughs> hey hey my bad there you go <laughs> Oh, a little different, huh? A little different. I'm it's just craft work. Yeah, but kind of, kind of worse. Oh, yeah, worse. Definitely not as good as craft work. So based on this song, I thought I was going to have a bad time. Really? Bad time. I don't, I don't hate this album. Which obviously you do, but <laughs> hey, 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 we. How would you know? How would you possibly know that? Alex? It's the only fucking album. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't hate the song. It's electronic and dancey. It's it, it, and I appreciate it because I was like, this is way different. All mm-hmm. right, I wasn't expecting that. That's cool. And it's like, I don't love it, but it could be a lot worse. I could. It's also the most German sounding thing they've ever done, huh? They, this is this is like if you if you listen to the band and you're like, but I want to do cocaine to it too, this is this is the album for you. Yeah, yeah. Instead of just weed or mushrooms, hold on. I want to get crazy while I'm at it. Yeah, yeah let's get me, juicy. 
Let me, uh... All right. I think we get the idea. Yeah. Well, worst, least favorite. And this was, uh... Yeah. This was the only one that I, I didn't... I, I I don't like this. Like, all the first ones... Even the first album where I was like, ugh. Mm-hmm. At least the parts where I could zone out to it. The really jamminess. The, the, the jamming part of the album. Mm-hmm. At least I'm like, yeah, it's just, you know, it's... The ambient stuff is what I hate. Not the songs. The sure. songs are k- kind of cool. Yeah. Here... Songs blow. Prove me wrong or try to convince me. I I really, fuck. I'm not going to try to convince you. I'm just going to say how I feel about it. All right. Um, How do you feel about it? So, yeah, I I didn't care for that. But then Crazy comes on and the drums sound like shit. But there is like a juvenile, like teenage garage rock vibe to it Uh that makes it fun for me. It's fun. It's okay. It's like practically a regular rock song compared to anything else they've done. Drive's super classic rock sounding. Drive, I put uh, sounds like radio craft cut rock. It does, yeah. yeah. Like if if, if you kind of you you maneuver it and you you fucking Tetris cut rock into a, into a, like a mainstream type of format, that's what it would sound like. Yeah, uh, La Bamba. This is a roller coaster of emotions for me. All of them rage for me. I don't know how. how huh? It was so eighties. Yeah, well, yeah, I wrote yeah. that as well. So uh, fucking eighties. Actually, I separated by periods. I started getting YMO flashbacks. Uh huh. The midway point when it gets like super glitchy like computer gl- oh, oh man. Like, that did it for you that did it for me interesting that, i was like all right all right i'm for i'm for i'm for la bamba that song the second it came on got an audible visceral reaction out of me <laughs> i was like oh like it was almost like someone like, like someone punched me in the stomach i was like what the fuck <laughs> or if i just sniff smelling salts or something yeah also the ambient tracks on here they're like a minute long they're like, short that yeah. that's an acceptable acceptable way so for me those aren't too bad uh what really did it for me really did it wave mother fuck you i like you, it euphoria and then good life fucking bo- come on you gotta come it okay you, good life gets a miss the other two i like them and kd is just la bamba again yes but like i mean it's just so annoying it feels like it's more annoying than the 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 first iteration of it yes it's like yes. what was so baffling to me about this album is that it's their most diverse album yet they're least interesting like how do you do a ton more shit and i'm like I am more bored than the the songs where you play literally nothing. I th- I think there's this something in my in my soul where I'm like, if a a classic '70s band wants to do a coked out '80s album, uh, shout out to ELO's time. Like, I don't know if this. I always find it fascinating, <laughs> and I can't hate it's it. It's fascinating, and you, but you can't hate it. Yeah, you can't hate it. Yeah. Oh god, there's so there's like this weird part of me that's just so fucking excited to hate the '80s. Uh, I mean, because it's it's objectively so much of uh, of '80sness and '80s culture has just man to say it's aged badly is like oh my god, like certain types of '70s sofas have aged badly, but how is like all of '80s fashion and style and culture aged? How is how is it all aged badly? Yeah, I know it, it was an age of excess. I guess it oh, just it sure was. Yeah, oh, and when you're that excessive, crash and burn, crash and burn, and that's how we got uh, the the hairstyles of the '90s. I guess, but god damn, yeah, I don't know. It's just. You, you, I mean, Key, what would you, what would you rank this though? Like, because you don't hate it, but do you like it? Would you go back to this? Yeah, I, I think I have to go back to it. Really? Just to like sort out my feelings. Um, over La Bamba, and that's it. it uh, no, I, I fucking, <laughs> I like Euphoria. I like Wave Mother. Like, um, I never thought about synth pop. Uh-huh. while listening to this band but wave mother i'm like oh yeah i can i can hear that i do kind of get wave mother in a in a weird you know electronic chillness kind of mm-hmm. way but it just it's not for it's you not for me although i, I gotta give a little bit of credit to paradise walk i like that one i dig that one that that one is uh it's weird because it's repetitive but not in a like kraut rock sort of way mm-hmm. so there's something weird how these bands can make repetition not boring. Like only yeah. very few bands can really do that. I'm sure like a thousand people are going to fucking hate me for saying that or disagree. But like, yeah, you got to do something with like repetition usually to keep it like swans. Like they're rep- 
uh, repetitious, but you hear like layers mm -hmm. coming in and going in like, and then like getting louder and building up. So it's not quite the same as these guys or a lot of car rock bands that literally just play the same thing for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's uh it's a different vibe. It's just, yeah, it's interesting how that they can do that, but I still hate this album. And then, <laughs> and it, to be fair, I don't hate it, hate it. Yeah. Cause like the first three tracks are solid. And I still like paradise walk. It's just by the end of them that I, I or like, or rather by track five, I'm like, oh, I really wish this was over. Mm. Uh, it's the only one that I really can't tolerate a full a full listen. Yeah, start to finish. Yeah, I don't, if I had to rank them, I I fucking I don't even know. I think part of the um the like legacy or the appeal of this band was that they they their music was out of print for so long, so mm -hmm. it's like they build up this legendary status, and then I think. Like 2001, 2002 is mm -hmm. when they were able to like remaster and and get their music back back on the market. That's that's, that's extremely recent uh, uh, comparatively. Yeah, in the scheme of time, it, it's super new. Um, super noy. Super noy. Uh, Dinger Dinger died of heart failure in 08. Mm, Jesus uh there was talks about maybe doing a fifth album but these these guys don't get along also they're a thousand years old like you, crowd rock just really like this is early 70s they're done holy shit don't do it well don't do it well, don't release another album. now they're done oh but, about the time hey, you're hey, saying yeah yeah in the early 2000s still old but not yeah not not knock on death door. not decrypt it yeah, yeah not decrypted um but yeah, 2010, Rother teamed up with uh, Steve Shelley of Sonic Youth and oh, the drummer and Aaron Mullen of Tall Furs. I never heard of them. Uh, they called themselves Hollow Gallo 2010. They would play like Noi music. So really? that was yeah, that was like as close as people were gonna, gonna get. Yeah, you ever see fucking Steve Shelley's drum setup? I have not. It's wacky dude i think it's i think his toms are like flat interesting yeah, yeah. I, 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 think, I think i'm not i've seen it. some people rock the, the flat toms it, always, it seems uncomfortable it but. seems insane why would you do that it's harder yeah there, there's <laughs> sorry i'm getting so passionate there's a lot of style and personal choices about some drum setups i just i i don't fucking get but uh yeah i might mm -hmm. be like mistaken I'm, I, I hope i'm not mistaken no yeah they're pretty like flat they're they're weird looking they're they're not flat flat. You know what? Maybe I'm fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe it wasn't him. You know what? And Drummers do that though. No, no, no. I, I know shot what you're my talking own point, about. Like, yeah, yeah. Like this playing on a tabletop. Yeah, or like the fucking uh, the dude from Jack White's band. Oh he was yeah, where he was oh, playing yeah. it in reverse because he's an asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I I remember seeing that and like I was like, I know I know Mike's not like big on on Jack White, but like I have to show someone else this insane yeah. choice. That's what he did. That was a political statement. It was. Yeah, you can't fucking hold me down yeah. right? with your your whack ass traditional uh, pointing pointing, toward, pointing towards you. Yeah, for convenience, I'm gonna point it away. Oh God, you what is it? The fifties. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, uh, we kind of sped through that. Yeah, but efficient though. Efficient, efficient. Unlike unlike the band. Unlike the band, to, complete, <laughs> to be completely honest. Holy shit, these guys drag. But like, not not in like a boring way. I don't know. It's just a no. Like I I think in the age of streaming, it's fine. But like you know, back in the day, if I pop like twenty bucks down for for one, oh, of, yeah. I might be pissed. But. If, if we want to do this thing, which I hate doing, but fuck it, whatever. If you contextualize, if you were in Germany mm. in the early 70s in this shit, which is unlike, this is punk. No, yeah. Yeah, a 15, no, not 15, what am I talking about? 10 years uh, before punk, essentially. And I'm exaggerating a lot, but still, like the craziness, especially in, in like, I mean, how conservative was Germany at that time? Probably fairly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, could, it goes. Um I this feel like I'm repeating a lot of things from Kraftwerk, but it goes back to to like you know their culture is fucking Nazi shit, so yeah. they have to like invent something. Yeah, yeah, they have it, to make this new wave of stuff. Not to mention, there's literal wall in between the country at this it, point. Yeah, like yeah. So I don't think I would be disappointed. Like even in the first album, if I was like you know 
coming off the heels of fucking slaughter. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, just let me mellow out with some <laughs> some driving drum beats for ten minutes straight. Yeah, through the countryside, throw on some noise. Yeah, um, like I said, I think a lot of these songs are great, but it's just like as albums, like. Uh, I'll probably just make a fucking playlist of the song. Yeah. I'm just going to listen to our playlist. That's yeah. what yeah, I'm I mean, gonna it's going to be pretty, pretty fire. Yeah. Playlist. <laughs> work, work that plug in there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is an easy one. This is fair, I mean, the, oh, fact that, fuck it. <laughs> the fact that it took us goddamn three weeks to record this. We, we ate through our entire backlog. Like, dude, we're fucking good, dude. We got all kinds of fucking backup episodes and now they're gone. They're we're, gone now. We're back to being poor. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Back to fucking living for the city. The uh, skin of our teeth. Yeah. Wait. Skin of our neck. Sorry. So, you know, skin of our teeth is like when you're cutting it real close. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a weird phrase. I never understood it. I, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just thought about how weird that yeah, is right now. no skin on the teeth. I don't get it. I don't yeah. get it at all. But re- let's recap. Let's recap. Uh, nice, easy, quick <laughs> recap. Uh, for me, worst, least favorite, Noit 2. Uh, just recycled... <laughs> Uh, I feel ripped <laughs> off. I feel ripped <laughs> off, even though I paid zero dollars to listen to it. I was being cheated. Yeah. Uh, best personal favorite, Noise 75. Uh, I dig the proto punk stuff. I dig the difference between the two. I dig the double drumming. Just awesome. Hell yeah. For me, uh, man, I almost forgot exactly what I just said the entire episode. Uh, best personal favorite, Noise 75. Like he said, it's neat. It's like it's perfect form Noise. It's not going too crazy in, in this weird, wacky direction. It's not staying too basic with just the same old drum beats and ambience. Uh, it's a nice little crock pot of both. And then Noise 4 slash Noise 86. Boy, oh boy. Worst, least favorite. Got some weird 80s shit on there, dude. Some weird 80s shit. I'm for it. Oh, boy. <laughs> but uh, thank you all so much for listening and watching. I hope you like this. I don't know. There's got to be like, you know, 17 Krautrock fans left in the world. So I'm pretty sure they all found this. So what? thanks. What? Hello. Didn't our, didn't our Kraftwerk episode perform well? But Kraftwerk is, uh, uh, they they did like three Kraut, Krautrock albums. The, and they, 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 they pioneered yeah, electronic. Their genre defined. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, if you want to help us out, support us, you know, lie, you know, subscribe, like, comment if you wish. YouTube.com slash every album ever. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere you get podcasts. Uh, follow me on Instagram for clips of the show, clips of my Twitch channel, clips of music at Pander Monkey, and you can follow Alex at Mother Puncture. Uh, like we said before, Spotify playlist in the description on Noise, as well as every other band that we've covered, band artist, person we've covered, everyalbumever.com, and Patreon. Patreon.com slash everyalbumever for bonus episodes, early access to certain episodes. If you want to jump the line uh, when requesting an artist, I have no idea. I know I plugged that at the beginning of the episode, but I'm pretty sure I butchered it, so I'm going to fix it now if I indeed butchered it. Uh, yeah, uh, jump the line when requesting an artist. So if you uh, don't want to wait, then you can do that. Hell oh yeah. yeah i think that's about it yeah and i think uh you're getting last song oh, me i'm getting last song. yeah oh shit shit yeah i didn't man. Even think about that but you like them <laughs> i like them too but you, i feel like you, you had put, first. you i feel like you put over the first three albums better than i did i think i think you're right let me uh let me think about this let me think hmm. Hmm. if i'm going something that that hit us both. Then then I think you got to go seventy five. Oh, then what we're doing is a little bit of hero. Oh yeah, so, great song. So thanks for listening. Uh, watching everybody. See ya.